Hello everyone, this is my first video of the Photoshop Power Tips series and today in our 5 minute trick shot, I'll show you how to create a custom crush. Photoshop brushes are powerful tools with unlimited possibilities which allow you to create awesome content. So without further ado, let's get started. Today we will be creating two brushes, one this star shaped brush and another is this watercolor splash and we'll try to create this nice starry background. So to do that, let's create our first new file, we'll keep it to 1000 pixels. Let's create a custom shape. I'll take this star shape here and I'll hit the shift key and drag to create the star. So I'll quickly fill this one with black and change the stroke color to no fill. And now to turn it to a brush, you simply go to edit and define brush preset. Name your brush, hit OK. And that's it. That's how you get a brush. It's that simple. One thing to note is that black part of your image will be the opaque part of the brush and the white will be transparent. Another thing to note is that if you're using CS5 or below, your brush maximum size can be up to 2500 pixels. And if you're using a newer version of Photoshop, it can range max up to 5000 pixels. And your brush can be made from anything, text, shapes, scanned images, just anything. So let's create a second brush out of this scanned image. So this is a watercolor splash image and to turn it to a brush, it's this very same technique. Go to edit, define brush preset and let's rename it to watercolor splash brush and hit OK. And that's it, your brush is all set. So let's try them out. Let's create a new file. and let's try our brushes. I'll take the star brush and now if you try to paint you'll get something like this which might not be so interesting so we'll show you a cool trick. Bring up the brush settings if it's not present go to window brush settings and here you can change a few of the parameters there are lots of things to do over here which I'll cover in a separate video but here let's change a few of the settings to make this brush more interesting. Hit the shape dynamics and increase this size jitter. What this will do is it will randomize the size of the brush and also crank up the angle jitter. As you can see the brush's rotations are being randomized. So just give a nice spacing between two brush tips. To do that go to brush tip shape and increase the brush spacing. So with that done, let's again try to paint and we can see that we're having a nice randomized pattern of this brush. And you can use your square bracket keys on the keyboard to control the brush size like all other brushes. So it's that simple. So let's paint those stars. Let's take a nice yellow color for the star. And as you can see, we are now getting a beautiful randomized pattern for these stars. Now let's give it a nice dark purple background. I'm hitting the Alt Delete or Options Delete key to fill it with the foreground color. Now let's take up our watercolor splash brush and give it the same treatment. Let's crank up the size jitter and change the angle jitter. Let's separate the two tips and let's paint some nice sky color. First I'll take a pink. I'm just using the square bracket keys to reduce the sizes of my brush and tap once or twice to give it a nice soft pink. Let's take a nice soft blue. That's it. Let's see if we change the blending mode to anything if it gives any effect. Okay, color dodge 
seems fine. Let's turn the opacity down a bit and I'll just add a small vignette around the corners. Now let's see if I change it to multiply and reduce the opacity a bit. Now let's add a soft glow over the stars. Select the star layer, hit Ctrl J or Command J to duplicate. Go to filter, Gaussian blur. I'll keep it to five. Hit OK. And let's see if we change the blending mode to anything. Let's keep it to color dodge and turn down the opacity a bit. Now, if you want, you can also save these two new brushes. To do that, go to edit, presets, preset manager. Look at the new brushes that you created. Select all of them and hit save set. Now you can just save it with the name and hit save. Now if you go to your folder, you can see that you have created the new brush. You can use it in any Photoshop, load it up and use your brush. Yeah, so that's it. So here we have a nice style background with these two brushes that we created. And we'll cover all those details about the brush presets in our different video. Till then, hope you like this one. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more cool tips and tricks. Till then, stay creative, keep creating.